from a design teacher ex experience perspective, when you're looking at potential students, or when you're looking at students rather, and they're coming up with projects, you're looking at the way they think, what's a quality maybe that, that stands out to you from a student where you're like, I think this person has what it takes to not only obviously just do the program, get a job, but actually excel in a career in design. Mm. So talking about hard skills and soft skills is a little bit of a um, simplistic way of thinking about it, but it's a helpful model maybe for structuring a conversation to that question. Um, for someone to really like rise to the top and thrive um, would require them to be a leader. And some of the best product designers end up becoming leaders on their teams, for their company, for their service, whatever it is. Um, so there are certain qualities, leadership qualities that like any skill, whether it's typography or running a usability test, like leadership skills can be exercised. And in our program, we know that hiring managers uh, in a competitive market are looking for candidates that exhibit certain emotional, intelligent qualities, certain leadership qualities, certain communication qualities, certain ways of presenting yourself, speaking, uh, collaboration qualities. So these have been lumped into you know, soft skills, right. but yet hiring managers are now really like screening for these things and looking for candidates that have these qualities. And so the great thing about this experience through the course, 15 weeks going through research, UX, UI, uh, you know, ethical and inclusive and accessible design, um, web design, app design, all of these things is it's really kind of putting you in this like boiling room which sounds like it has a negative connotation, <laughs> but what it's doing is giving you the chance to like intimately collaborate with other instructors, with other cohort mates, uh, you know, with portfolio reviews, hiring managers looking at your portfolio. You can cross collaborate with other um, disciplines, with software engineers, data scientists. So we have this really, really interesting, I think, place at Flatiron School where you have all of these disciplines coming together and having interesting conversations about the future of design, software engineering, data science, cybersecurity, and X, you know, whatever X is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do think like leadership qualities uh, help you if you if you're interested in developing that and becoming a better communicator, a better collaborator, yeah. someone who um, exhibits qualities of like emotional intelligence and that other people are willing to like listen to and follow your lead on things, then that will really help you uh, in your product design career. Because even if you're not like a manager of a team, those qualities help you in your career anyway. So it's not necessarily yeah. about being a manager or a team lead yeah it's about being effective in your role wherever that is and yeah. all of those qualities help that